What is going on YouTube? It's Biggie. Today I'm going to show you guys how to record and upload in 60 FPS. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. What you're going to want to do to record is use Shadow Play and to use Shadow Play to record you have to go to the bottom right here after you've installed GeForce Experience. Don't worry, the download will be in the description below. Right click the icon in the icon tray and hit NVIDIA, open NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It's going to bring you to the home screen which is right here. You're going to want to go to the settings tab and if you go down in the settings tab there will be a share button. If you don't have the option to share it's because your computer is not powerful enough to share but I'd highly doubt, I'd highly doubt that in 2017 as honestly if it's a gaming computer, it's probably got a decent enough card to share. I mean, I've got a 950 and I'm able to do it. So, you're going to want to hit this, which is enabling the share option. Once you've done that, hit the settings item, I mean, uh, button there. You go to instant replay. It's going to be off, right? So, you're going to want to go over here, click on it, turn on, then customize it by going over here. And it'll show you your replay length this will it's pretty self-explanatory you you record a replay so upon hitting the hotkey that you set you can record a certain amount of time before you hit it so let's say you hit it at the end of a call of duty match it will record the last 10 minutes of gameplay so essentially the whole match i play a lot of counter strike so i set it to two minutes you want to make sure you're on the custom setting the resolution you can set to whatever you'd like this is what matters you need to record in 60 fps if you want to have that buttery smooth experience you can do 30 but I prefer personally 60 FPS and the bit rate I usually like doing 50 um, personally because it just looks a lot better and no one wants to watch a choppy ugly video so you're going to want to save it and then hit escape once you finish that now if you want to set up a hotkey sorry let me just explain that again if you want to set up a hotkey you go down to settings click that go down into the keyboard and shortcuts and now you can set up everything here anything you want so for the recording you have the regular record which is this one right here that I set at pause and your manual record so you can set whatever hotkey you want by clicking it and setting it now I'm gonna show you guys how to render in 60 FPS in just a second alright guys I'm gonna show you how to render in 60 FPS what you're gonna wanna do is download Sony Vegas buy Sony Vegas whatever you gotta do um, I really like Sony Vegas personally and I'm gonna show you how to render in 60 FPS with Sony Vegas it's a really powerful tool. I really recommend that you get it. Go to File, in Sony Vegas, go down, and hit Render As. Now you're gonna want to go to the Projects over here, the Project Settings. Grab the scroll and scroll down a bit until you see Sony AVC slash MVC, and you're gonna want to click it to expand the tab. And the first one here should be Internet 1920 by 1080p. You're gonna, I already have it done, so I'm gonna show you what you gotta do. Customize the template. Video format should be AVC. The frame size should be high definition 1080p. If you're recording in that, you can set it to whatever you'd like. The profile should be high. Entropy coding should be CA, BAC. The frame rate should be 59.940, which is essentially 60 FPS. Double NTSC. Um, field order, none. Pixel aspect ratio, one to one, obviously. The bit rate, this is important. You want to have a high quality video in the end so you want to set this to 25 I really recommend that now number of slices just keep it at one because you don't want to have the video split up and in code mode you want to have it automatic because you don't want it using the CPU only if you have a GPU that's fast and vice versa so keep it at that and enable progress download progressive download and then click OK now click render once you finish your editing video actually let me just show you what to do after you've done setting up after you're done setting it up Let's say you just finished editing a video. I have an intro right here, so I'm going to use this as an example. You have your video set up, your Call of Duty montage, you want to render it, and you want to see how that 60 FPS video looks like in the end. So you're going to want to go render as. Now, what you're going to want to do to make things easier for the next run is you want to go back to that setting you just fixed up, which should be down here, and you want to make sure that you highlight it with your favorite star. Now, once you do that, look what happens you click this right here show favorites only and boom you're off you can click render and it will render the video I already rendered this video in 60 FPS so I'm gonna show you that it, it does work in just a second alright guys so I just finished rendering it obviously and here's the video inside of my Sony Vegas um, 
folder. So I'm going to show you the properties of the video and the details. Now it will show you f the video is at 59 frames a second as I showed you guys. Here you go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I really hope you guys start uploading some really kick-ass gameplay. Um, I know I'm not the most professional video maker, but I hope this really helps some people out. Anyways, guys, take care.